hi guys Lina here welcome back to my channel so in this video I'll be showing you how I color this bead right here starting from this black color to the color we finally achieve so I'm starting out with my developer and I'm using a 20 volume developer and this white bleaching powder we have here so I just poured in like half of the developer into this bowl and I poured in um, almost a cup size of the developer while I mixed both products together and I started to apply the mixture on the wig and take note I started from the up part because I re I want um, the closure area to really lift very well and I'm also trying to make sure that every strand of hair at the front part of this wig is bleached evenly and lifts very well so I'm going to just um, cut the air in small sections and make sure that I apply the mixture of the bleaching powder and developer all over each strand of this hair at the front part so once I'm done with the application on the front part of the wig I'm just going to proceed to take the wig off from the mannequin and just transfer it into the bowl because if I'm to spend my time to bleach this hair one after the other on this mannequin head definitely it's going to take a lot of time and the wig might not bleach evenly so i'm gonna have to just stop this process and transfer it to the bowl so right now this is the mixture i have i just want to add a little more developer into it so that it's more than enough for me to bleach the entire hair without needing another mixture so now i'm just um i just dropped the wig into the mix and i'm using my hands now to apply the mixture all over the hair and making sure that each strand of this hair gets it and i'm opening the wig just ensuring that every side of it the middle part the sides underneath the roots of the hair every part of this wig is well saturated with the bleach and i'm also just going in with a comb to comb through just to ensure that everything is distributed evenly so just combing through helps to ensure an even distribution and of course you want to be patient while you're, while you're doing this process just to make sure you don't rush things you don't skip any spots you don't want to have bald spots on your wig you don't want to have any parts that, that is still black so take your time to make sure you, you do a really good job of um, making sure that your wig is well bleached and um, we can proceed to the next step after this step is done but for right now just try and make sure everything is well done well applied there's no area that still needs to be lifted but the essence of combing it is just to ensure that the product is spread evenly then you can take your time and just use your fingers to look look and um, to open through and just look in between and make sure you're, all, all, you're always wearing hand gloves when you're trying to bleach your hair yeah make sure you always wear hand gloves you can see now the wig is already lifting I'm just trying to open it up just to show you guys that the wig is actually lifting evenly like you can see the colors are even there's no place that is black while the other part is brown and the other part is like the honey blonde everything is lifted really well you can see it looks really nice so I'm just gonna put it in that bucket to chill
buy colored bundles from and you'll be seeing belts pulls on these bundles and you'll be wondering like why are you guys not giving us a touch of excellence like that's the reason why if you see a hairstylist that makes custom colored wigs for you and gets your coloring to perfection please don't try and be cheap with your hairstyle it's spend the spend the money because of course your hairstylist took the time to make sure that she gets your color perfectly well so please invest in wig makers invest in people who put in the hours and making sure that your bundles your wigs comes out looking really really nice so guys you can't imagine how many hours i put into coloring this week because i didn't do the watercolor method if i was to do the watercolor method this would have been faster but i didn't so i had to color each strand of this week one after the other it took a lot of time but man i can't wait for you guys to see the end result because the hours put in was worth it in the end and of course the bundles which i used for making this wig is from eno beauty hair and i really loved how the um the hair lifted very well it's a raw natural straight hair so when you want to bleach hair it's always best you bleach hair that it's in that is in the natural state because most times when you try to bleach a bone straight hair it might not always lift as it should lift or some strands might bleach really well while some other strands might not bleach well and it might start to seem like okay is this bone straight hair mixed with fiber and all so please whenever i want to recolor hair always make sure you are working with a natural straight hair and also the hair should be raw hair it's just gonna help make the turnouts really really nice so yeah as you can see now we are almost done with the bleaching process even from the towards the very end i still continued in the same um way of just cutting in small sections and just applying the color from the up part down towards the tip of the hair and also flip flipping it behind and also applying the color behind the the extension or rather the track or whatever whatever so just apply it there evenly make sure you come through and everything is well applied evenly <laughs> so guys at this point i just want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed please support your girl your girl needs a lot of support this year like guys i'm banking on you all to support me on this channel Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share with your friends who are, who are going to learn from watching this video. Yes. So, thank you so much for watching. Let's continue and finish up this tutorial. So, yeah. At this point, I think I'm almost done with the coloring. It's just this little strand I have in my hand that is left. So, after I'm done with coloring the entire board, I'm just going to go back to still have a color left. hot iron method is just the fastest way to straighten your hair and like i'm not about that life of using a hair straightener to, to straighten each strand of my hair just to get it to be straight like if you can use a hot iron and straighten your hair as quickly as possible please do it don't be wasting your time and that is definitely what i'm <laughs> I mean, so just straighten it as quickly as possible
sort of bob it on the on the down path just to achieve that bob guys there's something i struggle with when it comes to wig making it's doing a bob like i really struggle with this i think i need to get a different um, hair straightener maybe one that is wider to help me make the process easier for me or maybe i just need to go for some styling lessons or something but if there's something i hate the most in wig, wig making is this bobbing thing i really <laughs> i really find it <laughs> A major frustration so i don't know i'm probably need to do some trainings on hairstyling and get more comfortable with bob in a wig so what i did was i just sectioned this wig in small sections and i said to do it small by small you don't want a situation whereby you're working with large strands when you want to bob your wig you want to cut your hair into smaller strands and just work with it and straight in from the upper part where you start getting towards the end of the hair you just tongue it on the inside to make it achieve that bulb look that's how i do it i'm going to do it on this side and also extend it towards the other end of the wig and i started from the up downside then i got to the up part just to ensure that as i'm bobbing the up the down part down the up part also just comes and meets the one on the downside and the boots just balance well on each other and it looks nice and um really classy like i wanted it wanted to look you can see how the color of this hair looks like i love how the color of this wig came out i absolutely love it if you want me to make something like this for you let me know in the comment section so guys this is the final turnout of the wig after hours of work if you liked how this wig turned out let me know in the comment section if you like to see me do more wig colorings on this channel let me know also in the comment section so guys thank you so much for watching and if you're not subscribed to my channel please what are you waiting for click on the subscribe button just right below also turn on the post notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads so guys without further ado i need to get out of here and go and rock my beautiful wig <laughs> yeah it's so beautiful it's so full and the bundles which i used for making this wig is from eno beauty hair and it took coloring very well because of course it's good quality hair it's raw hair yeah and it moves it moves like this hair is giving me life so much life so much life so much so much so much